Let it snow. Let it snow. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jacqueline. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell right next to it. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. So today we're going to be doing my holiday nails. I wanted to do Christmas nails, but since I've waited so long to do them, I don't know if there is even a point in doing Christmas when New Year's is also around the corner. So I want to do something more neutral i just want to get my nails done because i know if i don't do them today i'm not going to get them done before christmas that's what we're doing today i know i usually do like a scary story time while i do my nails but this one's going to be a little different instead of me talking directly to you guys i'm probably going to do a voiceover that way you guys can actually like see i might have you guys right here uh so you can see kind of what all i do and when i do my nails and yeah i'll probably show you guys everything i physically do do on my left hand since I'm obviously not left-handed it takes me a little longer sometimes to do my right hand so I'll show you guys everything while I do my left hand and then when I do my right I'll kind of do it off camera and come back to show you together and so on and so forth so I'm gonna switch up the angle that way you guys can see a little better so yeah let's get into it so we're starting off by pushing back my cuticles to get them nice and clean they were pretty grown out so I'm glad I finally am getting to get my hands to look a little bit better this is honestly my favorite part it's so satisfying to me look at all that dead skin just going away i used to be so scared of doing this but i'm so glad that now i can do it so quick Now that that's done, I'm going to start shaping my nails so we can get a good little base for the tips. My nails were already pretty short, so I'm just shaping them up a little so they don't grow all random in different shapes and sizes. Now we're taking the natural shine off of our nails so that we can have a smooth little base for all of the little liquids we're about to put on them. Now we're going to get into the tip, measure everything out, make sure that it fits good. Gluing this nail tips on, I like to put glue on the bottom and also on the top. Now we're going to file the ledge, get it nice and smooth so that it all flows very seamless and everything just looks good dusting them off now now i'm taking this little sticker this is actually to do nails without tips i like to use it to measure out my nails to make sure i get them pretty even i like to cut them with scissors this was just way easier for me for today's set, I'm going to be doing some almond nails. That's my preferred shape because it makes my fingers look super long and skinny. I think they just look more classy and that's just the look I prefer. This part is honestly what takes me the longest. Now I'm going in with a dehydrator to get rid of all the natural oils in my nails. I love this because it also just kind of helps clean up the nails a little bit. Now we're going to go in with a bond. This one is my favorite. It's by Young Nails. And this one literally makes your nails last forever if you haven't used it. Highly recommend. Now it's time for the acrylic. I'm getting out the monomer and I'm going to be using the Valentino Milky White Acrylic Powder in the shade Soft Touch. The acrylic part was honestly the hardest part for me whenever I was learning. So having an actual powder that makes this as easy as possible is it's just so good. This is one of my favorite shades of acrylic. They look so good. Time to shape our nails. Going in with my file. 
Now I'm taking my e-file just to kind of smooth everything out from the top, make sure there's no bumps. Just making sure everything's nice and smooth. Now we're going to buff the nails to make them super smooth. This takes away all the texture on the nail from the e-file, so I love this part. Now time for the other hands. Now I'm just cleaning my nails with some alcohol and lint-free wipes to get rid of any extra dust that I don't want on my nails. This was my original inspo, but you guys, I ended up doing something completely different because when it was time to get down to it, the red chrome was just not my vibe, so I ended up going with something way more simple, did lots of bling, and now I feel like they're perfect because I'm not going to have to switch them up for both Christmas and New Year's. It's good for both now. My camera died, that's why it cut so awkwardly, but now I'm finished with the nails. I'm adding some cuticle oil. This one is my favorite. And that is the final look, you guys. I love how they came out. The milky white set with lots of bling. It's totally my thing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!